Every producer needs a producer tag. It stops artists from stealing your beats and even if they do, you still get credited. And whilst they are important to have, it is super important to have one that sounds clean and good and ready for your beat. So whether you've been struggling to make a producer tag for some time now or just don't have one altogether, I want to show you how to make a clean producer tag for absolutely free. So to get started with making your producer tag, all you got to do is go to the website called getyarn.io. This is an AI tool that has clipped thousands of shows and movies and all you have to do is search for a word or a phrase and it will show every single clip that has that word in it. This allows you to be quite creative when it comes to making a producer tag. You can either go for a single word or a phrase that you want to use for your tag. For example, I use this website to make my tag that you heard in the intro and I'm also going to use it now to make a second one. So the second step is really figuring out what you want your tag to be, whether you want it to be a phrase, a word, whether you want it just to be your name, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and search for something with Tango in it as my name is Good Morning Tango and I want to see what comes up. And so you can see just by searching in Tango we have a whole bunch of results, 4,198 results with either Tango being spoken or Tango music. So after a little bit of searching I've gone and found this clip from Teenage Bounty Hunters that sounds like this. You know it takes two to tango. And I think I can turn this into a really clean tag. One thing that I will recommend is to make sure that the clip you are choosing does not have any background music into it as that is very hard to edit out. So if you can, try and find a really clean spoken sample that you can use. And then to download the clip, all you got to do is come down here, press the download button. You'll then load up the sample, right click and then click save video as and then you can save it to wherever you need it to be. As it saves as an mp4, you are going to have to use an online converter to change it from mp4 to WAV or mp3, whichever you prefer, but that only takes about 2 minutes and it takes a simple google search. Once you have downloaded and converted it into a WAV or an mp3 file, simply drag it into your FL Studio or we can just get into chucking a bunch of effects on it. Now the effects that you can add really varies, I would recommend adding a delay, maybe a reverb, anything that you really think will build character into your tag and help it be recognisable when you play it, should help you. So one idea that I want to add is a reverse reverb sweep into the vocal and to do that all I've done is just chopped out the start of the vocal, I'm going to mute the original one, I want to then come to my master channel, go to a reverb plugin, it can be anyone, turn the decay up as high as you really fancy it and then just simply record what you have. Once you have a decent enough tail, what you can do, double click it, reverse it, bring it to the front, chop out a section that you think will be good, not too loud, not too quiet. So I'm going to go for this bit, I'm then going to drag it, just so it overlaps the vocal a little bit, and then sweep it in, and I can delete this one, turn off the reverb, and it now sounds like this. You know it takes two to tango. Super, super clean. So now I'm going to go through and add a very basic delay. So I'm just going to double click the original sample, add it to a mixer channel, go to slot one, and then I'm going to go to fruity delay three. I'm now going to mess around with some of the settings to find something that I really like. Now I don't like that it's repeating the whole phrase, but what I'm going to go and do is just chop out the bit where it says tango, and I'm just going to go from there. But now that I know where the tango bit is, I'm just going to come back into my mixer channel, right click on the wheel, the, wet, the dry wet knob, create automation clip, and then going to drag it to the start of the sample, like this, I'm then going to tell it to turn on when she says tango, and then slowly fade out, but make sure that it's off on everything else, so that it should only really delay the word tango. You know, you know it's too tango. Super clean. The next thing that I'm going to add and I recommend that you should add in a little or as much of an amount as you think you need is an EQ, sort of just to tidy it up. So I'm going to open up a parametric EQ and I'm going to fiddle around with a bunch of the bands until we find something that's clean and also standing out. The EQ is really basic, it's only just really there to tidy up a bunch of the frequencies that you don't think should be as prevalent and also to make room for the eventual melody that you'll be playing over your tag. So I'm going to go back into my mixer channel and I'm going to go and select Spread Light which is a free plugin that does its stereo enhancement and I'm only going to just push it out a little bit wider so when the reverb comes in and the delay it's not really clashing up much of the middle. And then my last thing I'm going to add is a slight pan man, I'm going to select the second preset, 2 bar wide slow and then go to one bar, change the width down and the smoothing down and it now sounds like this. You know it takes two to tango. Super clean, I really like the tag and I'm going to just export it as this.
When it comes to exporting, I would recommend that you import a beat at the same time so you sort of figure out how it would fit into a normal beat, whether you want it at the very start, whether you want it before the drums, stuff like that. What I can do now that it's bounced out is drag in another beat and really find out where it should sit when I want to use it. One little tip, and this will save you a whole bunch of time when you're dragging this in, is if you go to the sample and click it to stretch, and then change it to the BPM of the tempo of the project, it should then stay the same size. I'm now going to drag this to the beginning, going to move everything over a whole bar so that the tag plays just before everything else comes in, so it's about there maybe, and see what this sounds like. You know it takes two to tango. One thing that I think is missing and it could really benefit from is just a riser at the end of the sample that sort of leads it in. Because it's being played at the start, it sort of goes from having nothing to having a whole instrumental, and having a transition should really help boost that. So I've now gone in and added a riser. I'm just going to turn the riser down and see what it sounds like. I'm going to move the whole beat over again just to see if it has more space. You know it takes two to tango. I like that a lot more. And now after bringing in the delay effect again and also the reverse reverb sweep, it now sounds a lot like this. You know it takes two to tango. I really like this tag. And now we're going to export it for the final time and this is super easy as well. What I'm going to do is select a couple bars before the sweep and then a couple bars after to let the delay do its work. Hit Control R and then export it as anything that I really fancy it, save it wherever you need to find it, stuff like that. And once you click save and export it, you're done. You have a brand new tag. That is if you drag this tag into a project and you don't like how it fits with the beat, all you gotta do is really mess around with the panning and the pitch of it, and maybe also the volume if you don't think it's loud enough or too quiet. Nothing too serious. All you gotta do is now experiment it with the tag and all your different kinds of beats and see if you can really create something that you really love. But there you have it, that is how to make a brand new beat tag for free in 2024. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you were able to follow it clearly and that all the steps are laid out in the correct order. I've been really slacking on making tutorial videos lately but I do really enjoy helping you guys so if this video was helpful make sure you go down below and like and subscribe. Leave a comment about anything that you think I should cover next, I've already done mastering, I'm thinking of doing a tutorial about 808s and we'll just see if that comes to any fruition. But once again thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again soon.